A night of Christmas shopping at Kingsway Mall turned into terror for Christopher Bosole. When he went to leave the mall, he saw a woman in distress. And I could tell she was she was in danger, so I motioned for her to kind of like jump in my passenger seat, like come around. Police say a man was trying to rob the woman. Bosole pulled up and she jumped in his truck. Then the suspect put his attention on Bosole. He ended up producing uh, what to me looked like to be a, a sawed-off shotgun. Uh, pointed it up towards my face through the window. Bosole drove away and called 911. He stayed close to help police find the suspect. He saw another commotion in front of the Walmart. Then I just heard a pop and, you know, and, I, and then I seen one guy take off. I mean, that's the guy. Police say that pop was the suspect shooting a man who was unlocking his bike. The suspect carjacked a truck, hit a parked vehicle, then crashed into a building at a nearby traffic circle. The suspect ran away but was quickly arrested. After he had shot the individual, then, then it sunk in that, like, I'm a father of two young girls. I have uh, responsibilities within my community. Kingsway Mall went into lockdown during the incident. This is less than a week since West Edmonton Mall was put on a lockdown after reports of a man with a gun. No shots were fired there. We're a big city with big city issues. Superintendent Keith Johnson is stressing while there are violent crimes in public places, the city is safe. It's really, really important that the public have confidence in our responsibility, in our response. Uh, public have confidence in our ability to take care of these issues when they pop up. Criminologist Temi Tope Oriola says our big city issues are heightened with the affordability crisis. When you had that with mental health issues, uh, houselessness and all of that, so we're seeing uh, a, a multifaceted a uh, social problem unfolding before our very eyes. As for Beausoleil, he's thankful to be okay. But I've had scenarios in my life where I felt like I've had guardian angels or spirit helpers as in our culture, what we would call them, uh, who have intervened and helped me. And uh, last night I was reminded of that. Sarah Medina, Global News.